We've had such a great time in Lankawi, but it's time to leave. We found Grab to be an affordable and reliable option all throughout Malaysia, so we book our car and head to the ferry pier. We are traveling from Lankawi to Kuala Keda on the Roro Ferry. We booked by Easy Book. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? This is the car ferry. It'll be a fun trip, I think. It takes three hours to get over. There are passenger-only ferries available from the mainland Cali port that are about the same price and are a lot faster. But it'll be an adventure. The people from Road Road, really nice, super easy to check in. Just walk up to the passenger area, show them your uh, digital boarding pass, and scan you right in. Nobody checked our tickets once. They were just all like, hey, if you want to take this ferry here, here, get on. Katie found another dream home. we grab a grab to the bus station. Just enough time before our bus to grab some lunch. So, you know, chili, cheese, KFC, chicken, and a KFC chicken burger. This is really messy and good. It's finger licking good. Ain't nobody there. That's why we bought our tickets early. wait to explore Penang but it's been a really long travel day so we're gonna head to bed but first we just had to get some duck quay chop once it hits your lips it's so good let's get this party started we're spending the next week in Penang Malaysia when most people say Penang they're talking about UNESCO heritage listed Georgetown with its gorgeous colonial streets Chinese Malay and Indian influences and some of the best street food in all of Asia our first stop is on the corner of Chulia and Carnarvon. Penang is the definition of a foodie's paradise. It's a perfect place to get out of your comfort zone and try something new. From savory to spicy to sweet, there's something delicious in any direction you look. Make sure to bring cash as a lot of the vendors don't take credit cards. You order your food outside and you have to order a drink to sit in here. Lime juice is always refreshing. Chris ordered char kway chow spicy, so. I haven't felt the heat yet. It has some char on it from the wok that gives it a smoky flavor. This is delicious. I say a nine out of 10. Now to try these very hot chicken wings. Mm. Can you taste the flavor from the barbecue? Can you tell me another word for delicious? Because I can't say anything else besides delicious and very good. This is delightful. <laughs> this is my favorite. I had this last time. I had to come back. It was so good. I first tried this in Saigon. I can't pronounce this, but I took a picture. We're going to try this. The combination of the rice noodles with the vegetables. This is a winner. It was my favorite thing there. Now I have to have it everywhere we go. It's delicious. The last thing I have to try is the oyster omelet. It's warm. Mm. Crunchy, not seafoody. That's a really good omelet. This is one of many streets lined with food. <laughs> That place right there is famous for something because the line is always around the block. We don't do lines like that. There's so much to see and do all over Georgetown. It's no wonder it's been listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. One of the best ways to explore is just to walk around and see what you can find. But before you do that, please click the subscribe button so you can keep up to date with all of our adventures. Kimberly Street's located in the heart of Georgetown. Kimberly Street is always a winner, especially my favorite chicken guy. It's a true cultural melting pot as evidenced by the wide variety of street food, architecture, and religious buildings here. 
I hope this is as good as I remember. Oh, I'm not going to finish. I love this. I love this. Oh, yes. Crunchy, juicy. This is really good. Let's smack and... <laughs> now I'm getting full, so we're headed back home for the night. And next on the tour, we have New World Food Park City. New World Food Park City is one of Georgetown's most famous food courts. It's a one-stop destination for authentic Penang food with over 100 stalls offering everything from char kway tiao to rojak. Rojak is a traditional Malaysian fruit and vegetable salad, typically made with a mixture of fresh fruits and vegetables like pineapple, mango, cucumber, jicama, and bean sprouts. It's then tossed in a thick, sweet, tangy sauce made from shrimp paste, palm sugar, and lime juice. It's usually garnished with peanuts, crushed shrimp, and finely cut fragrant ginger flowers. It is delicious and refreshing dish on any day, but especially a hot one. Your first Rojak. Oh, wow. Oh, that's interesting. It's really sweet. It has a fishy taste a little bit, but it's also spicy. Oh, that's really addicting. It's good. Oh, chicken's moist. Soy sauce is sweet. This is delicious. And there's even more in center court. I'm gonna order a big plate of blueberry pancakes. But wait! There's more! Another spot in Old Town Penang. Devouring small plates of steamed dim sum is a quintessential dining experience in Penang. The tea houses all over Georgetown have been serving up high quality dim sum for generations, and they definitely didn't disappoint. That was shrimp with American cheese on top with the cheese sticks in with your mouth. That really does. That's a little fishy for my taste, but it's crab, and it was actually pretty good. And then some ice caught me. Now that's good. And our track week cow got here. And of course more dim sum. The dim sum master out front recommended the prawn dumpling. Spice. That's good. It's a very light shrimp taste. Actually, that's really good. We also recommended the spicy chicken and the chicken and cheese. There's the spicy chicken. Oh, look at that bad boy. Um, it's like a little bit of sriracha on there, something like that. I found it a little spicy that Gabe would prefer. Absolutely delicious. Now we're gonna hit our track week cow. But first, Kate is gonna say it. <laughs> Char Kway Chow. Really close. <laughs> wow. Rock on. Mild flavor with a little bit of spice. Very tasty. Snack time. White House Big Nuts. That's what she said? Yes, that name is correct. A fantastic place to find all your dried nuts and delicious dried mangoes. See you back at the house. Our hotel provided some local snacks, so of course we're going to try them. And by we, I mean Kate. So we have Kopi O, which is a local coffee with a lot of sugar in it, I think. Te Tarik, which also I think has a lot of sugar in it with tea. And instead of chips, french fries in a bag. First up is Te Tarik, the coffee. No, the tea. The tea. Oh, that's a lot of sugar. It tastes a little bit like black tea with lots of sugar and cream. I like it. I'm waiting for my coffee. <laughs> they must not have the... <laughs> there you are. I taste the coffee, but I don't taste much sugar or anything else in it. But it's good. It's just a very light coffee. Right where we left off. I think I showed these to you. They're 10 chicken fries. It's all you. I can taste a little bit of chicken. Let me try another one. Crunchy, a little taste of chicken. They do have some spice on them, so they're a little bit hot. Not bad, but no, these are Chris's. Why are you giving me all this stuff that tastes like crap? That is what marriage is all about. Tip number 365. You <laughs> should talk about a little lovely. <laughs> Well, that brings us to a close of this week's adventure, eating our way around Penang. Thanks so much for joining us. The rain has started, and it doesn't look like it's going to stop anytime soon. So please join us next week, and we'll be exploring some of Kuala Lumpur. Keep drinking this coffee. Take <laughs> the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>